What is going on guys, it's Pikmin97, and as you may notice, that uh, Mac OS X Mavericks, or Mac, yeah, OS X Mavericks, uh, has just came out yesterday, if you didn't know that, then uh, it is for free on the Mac App Store right now, so you can go over there, you know, uh, download it if you want, it is uh, a pretty big file, it's 5 gigs I think, so it is 5 gigs, so it's going to take a while, about, it took mine, my internet speed is pretty fast, so it took two, two hours to download, so be patient, you know, it's really worth the wait for this. So Apple did do something really good for this, but the rest, in my opinion, the rest that they did, it didn't really um, surprise me yet that much because I already know Apple just makes, they only upgrade their stuff um, software-wise and stuff, so yeah, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it's not going to work out that way, Apple. So if you go into the, uh, about this Mac, I'm on uh, version 10.9 which is the latest version of Mac OS X. So yeah, um, but this is not about Mavericks. This is about iMovie. And I'm gonna show you guys the uh, basics of iMovie 11. In this case, it is version 10. The newest one, um, it's $15 in the App Store if you haven't purchased it. But if it came with, uh, if it came with Mac Pro or when you bought it, when you bought it, or when you downloaded Mac OS X, uh, it, I think it believe, I believe it came out with it came with iMovie, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty cool to have. So when you first open up uh, iMovie, the new iMovie, of course, from Apple, it's gonna say, "Welcome to iMovie, the best way to enjoy and share your video." So all I'm gonna do is continue. This is new in iMovie. You have a new design, of course. It looks different. Well, I like the design; it looks pretty cool. It says, uh, "Quick sharing: find your movie moments and share them with a click." We got movie and trailers enhanced editing tools in iMovie Theater. So I'll be showing you guys all of that. So of course, I am also new to this. Um, I've been using iMovie, not a lot, but I'm kind of used to it in a way. So if, you guys, if I get something wrong, then just correct my mistakes in the comments. So, so uh, get started. So everything is basically self-explanatory. I mean, it tells you what to do. So if you're kind of like a noob <laughs> at this, if you're a noob, then this um, will help you. So I'll Sorry, my mic just went out. Actually, I accidentally pushed the mic, the mute button. So I'm gonna readjust the uh, microphone. So it says, "Do you want to update your projects and events?" So when you have an older project that you had in iMovie before you updated to this version, version 10, it's gonna say if you want to update it to into this new iMovie. So if you update it, it will update it so it can work, so it can be compatible with this newer version. So click update, and it will update it with it. So um. I am not going to uh, do this right now. I'm going to show you how to uh, create a project and stuff. So to create a project, all you're going to do is you want to go into um, create. You can create a movie or a trailer depending what theme or what you're going for. So in this case, I'm going to go with a movie. I'm going to show you both. So just, yeah. So when you go into the themes, it says create themes. It gives you new themes as well. Some are older and some are new. Um, I'll tell you which ones are the newest. This one is new. It can also... Holy crap, that was loud. <laughs> For me, it was. I don't think you guys can hear it. But uh, let me, yeah. I'll play it, and then these are the new ones that I'm showing you guys. So uh, I don't, you guys can't hear the music, so yeah, sorry about that. So that's pretty cool. It got it says a uh, bulletin board, which is pretty dope. <laughs> and then we got CNN I report. I wish I put the audio so you guys can hear it, but comic book we already know that film strip as well. Modern is also new. Um, this is let's see, play it. It also comes with uh, songs built in, so like I. Uh, I forgot what it was, but it was soundtrack or er, soundtrack pro. The music from there comes in as well. So you got neon is new. Neon is pretty cool if you're doing like a music video or kind of like a pop sort of type of uh, video or I don't know music video. But of course, it's I don't know. Uh, we got we got news. It's funny because none of these videos make sense to to the project setting, so it's weird. I don't know. What the heck, Apple? Okay, we've got newscast. Newscast. Okay, that one made sense. 
Playful is also a new one. The music, I like the music. It's pretty fun, you know. Got simple. This was one of my favorite, actually. If you're going like a summer vacation, whatever, or have a happy feeling, I would definitely choose this one. Simple. And travel, I think they just redesigned it, but they're basically somewhere the same and somewhere new. So I'm going to select simple because I like it. You click create. You're going to have to first rename it. So I'm going to just name it. I'm going to name it uh, summer, even though it's not summer, unfortunately. I wish it was. So click OK. And uh, it's going to be like this. All right. So it gives you um, your, t your title. You can uh, to rename it. Just click on it to rename it. You can also delete it delete your project by right clicking on this and click uh, move to trash and when you move it to trash it deletes the project of course or you can do the shortcut shortcut command which is command and then delete um, gives you your project settings right here you can import your media which basically imports your videos you can also import from cameras devices anything that's connected into your Mac um, say your external hard drive or USB flash drive or your camera as well. So in this case, I don't have any videos, so I'm gonna go into one that I do. So I believe that's in movies. No, 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 it's in documents. So let's go back, you just go right here, or you can go to the quick way of users. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go into my name, of course, that's my name. Uh, and then we're gonna go into documents, After Effects files. I'm gonna just put in uh, intro for YouTube, because, well, I'll, I'll go with this one. So import selected. So when you import it, it's gonna be like this. And um, so if you don't like it, just like this, like having it so long, if you click this right here, it gives you clip size. And if you make this smaller, it makes it bigger. But if you want to make it smaller, you actually make it, you go further. No, 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 this is clip size. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is clip size. This is if you want to see how far, uh, how close or how big you want to resize it. Zoom, that's where you want to change it. So every five seconds, it creates a, uh, a frame. So if you want to make it smaller, you basically drag it down to all, just to like this, or for every 10 minutes, every five minutes, you know, self-explanatory, or you can do it every one, every half second. I like to keep mine at all, just because I don't like it all cluttered, but this is good if you're editing some parts in the video itself. So that's just a heads up. Audio, you can sh show waveforms. So this is good if you have it longer, so you guys can actually see the preview of the audio. Say you're going to do a keyframe and you wanted to drop only from here to here and you just wanted to lower this on. That would be really good. So in this case, I'm going to just leave it like that. Uh, I'm going to just leave it like this. Uh, I'll go 30 seconds. So uh, hide rejected. This basically shows you all if you rejected a song by right clicking and clicking uh, under rate, I believe. Yes. No. Is it? I don't know. Um, I'm not really... Com uh, you know, used to iMovie as well as Final Cut Pro 10 because I haven't been using it as much, but trust me, oh well. Uh, there's gonna be way more tutorials than this, so this is just an overview. You got hide tutorials, you got or hide rejected, favorites rejected, all clips. Over here on your left side, you got libraries where you can uh, find the uh, libraries like all events or events that you've created, it's basically projects. Um, actually, you have their projects here and all, an event is videos that you've imported into iMovie. And the projects are the ones you've created. iMovie, you know, basically your timeline, timelines right here. If you want to import a video, uh, a song or a video, all you're gonna do is go into file and you open library and iMovie library or, um, yeah. So that's how to import it. Um, oh no, no, it's import media, geez. Import media, so Command I, and that will import a song or video if you want. You can also create a new movie or a new trailer, basically a new project. Uh, you can edit clips, you know, select all, select the entire clip. I'm gonna drag it to say if you wanted to select a piece. This is basically the same thing. It's just an overview of. It's just redesigned in a way, but um, it's iMovie. You know, iMovies. It's just the same, but kind of redesigned. So if you wanted to select a song, you just click and drag and just drag it into the timeline right here. You can also play the song, which is pretty cool. It's really nice and simple to use. You can also, as you can see right here, it's a, uh, it gives you a music icon where you can import your songs and it'll pop right in the, below your video. 
you've got a transition right here. So if you were to make it bigger, um, let's see, you go to show precision. I don't really use a precision, so I don't really, I'm not really used to the transi transitions. So sorry for that, but <laughs> yeah. Um, right here, it gives you tradition uh, transitions. These are similar to the ones in Final Cut Pro 10 as well in iMovie, of course. You got titles. You can import a title if you want. You know, you can click and drag it on top of another one if I can. Oh, well, iMovie is slow. <laughs> iMovie is slow since the new update has come out, so sorry about that. Oh, geez. Okay, let's go back to titles and import a new title. So you can, you know, put it right on top of another one. Oh, actually, you can't. Oh, that's sad. You can put it right next to each other if you wanted to. So I'm going to move it right here. Um, let's turn that off. I think this is good enough. See how a song right, or a title pops up? You can also uh, edit it by moving your cursor right in between it and uh, double clicking on the text and name it to something. I'm going to name it tutorial uh, video. And press enter to accept it. And you can just play it uh, back. So you got your your skimmer right here. You go back. See, and it just disappears. You can also, of course, change the duration. Uh, so that's pretty cool. If you want to delete it, just press delete and click turn off content, and that will delete it. Um, so yeah, um, and then you got maps and uh, worlds. They added more worlds, I believe. So it's uh, gonna generate a quick th uh, thumbnail. So right here, you got San Francisco for her to play it. This is really cool if you're going to do some presentations in school or whatever. Uh, you've got Old World Globe. You've got a lot of globes and a lot of maps, so that's pretty cool. You, still, you also got curtains, like this would be a um, an intro or like a beginning or solids. You've got iTunes where you can put uh, drag in all of your music media. You can play it just by clicking play. You've got the... Um, the uh, soundtrack or the waveform sorry the waveform you can also just skim through and click play so that's pretty cool um that's really nice to have you got sound effects sound effects is one of the ones that i'm going to be using for a lot sound effects um <clears throat> it gives you a it says select an item from the list to view the audio waveform so you can go they have a lot of waveforms or a lot of sound effects so they added new ones and Replace some old ones, but these are really cool though. So you got balloon pop. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but yeah, you guys can hear it. So that's really cool though to have uh, sound effects in iMovie. Of course, that's what we want to use. Uh, and then we've got GarageBand. If you have GarageBand installed, then this will work. But I don't have GarageBand, so I'm not gonna be using it for now. Uh, so you got your projects. You got all of this. Now theater is one of the newest things they've done so if you have a video you can well let me show you this first you got enhance enhance basically enhance enhances the video so it changes color but in this case you don't want to do that you can adjust it you can adjust the uh what is this the color uh you can match color do all of this stuff you can change color tones and whatnot uh in this case it won't work the best you can do crop you can crop it down to size you can do a ken's burn a uh, Ken's burn basically it, it kind of goes like this. Let's see. Let's check this. Kind of goes like this. It moves to in it moves toward the video. So that's pretty cool. The nice thing about this is that it doesn't have to render so like Final Cut Pro 10 does. So that's really really nice to have. So you turn it off, you basically click reset or this button right here and it'll turn it back to normal. You've got uh you can stabilize your videos if it's shaky or not. If you recorded it with a with an iPhone or if, you, if the video is shaking, you can stabilize it. You also got your audio. You can turn down the volume. As you can see right here in the waveform, you can turn down the volume or you can turn it up. You've got lower volume of other clips. If you selected them, you've got to, you can reduce background noise. So if you're using my Blue Yeti right now, like I am, you can do that as well. There's noise in the background. I can do that as well. You got an equalizer, good for creating music and stuff. Uh, you've got video effects. If you click on this, it will give you lots of effects. But in this case, you can't really see it as well because I don't have an actual clip to show you that would work best with. 
So um, you got your info, your information about this. Uh, you can zoom in into the timeline, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's basically it. And one more thing, of course, is the theater. Um, so theater works if you have an iPhone or an iPad and you save it, your project. If you um, if you're logged in with iCloud, you can sync. Well, it basically saves it already into your iPhone or iPad automatically, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, you can also share projects right there. So share projects and clips will appear here and other devices. So you can click new movie and say you want to select simple. You can just click create uh, and it will um, create a, uh, a new if you go back, it created a new one. So theater, you have to sign into iCloud first, but I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm going to quit it. So you have to log into that. So and yeah, that's basically it. So I told you uh, how to import it and stuff. You got window, record voiceover. You're going to record a voiceover. You got movie pro properties. Um, you got revert to original layout if you messed up with all of the layouts and stuff. You can have, um, you have view, play, play from beginning, play full screen. You can also just click right here to make it full screen. Just like that, which is pretty cool to save up space. Uh, you can modify, fade to, you can do slow motion, fast forward, instant replay, rewind. Um, and another way to import is just by clicking import, and that's the fast way. Or just command I for the shortcut. So that is basically all of my, um, basically I went over everything in iMovie, not everything, but I'll be more in depth in my next tutorial. So um, be up for that, so get ready for that. Uh, so you can click hide or show to show the libraries panel. So that is it guys. Um, I hope you guys, sorry if this was long, I know. It's a overview of the new iMovie design. So if you guys enjoy this and have, uh, if you want to show the love, then don't forget to leave a like. You know, that helps me. So, um, yeah, I will be, I know this is kind of off topic, but I'm going to be 15 this Friday. So um, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun. It should be cool. I love October. So anyway, um, sorry I had to point that out. I don't know. This is kind of random so uh, yeah um i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe uh, if you're new so i'll see you guys in my next video peace